uh, Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? <laughs> um, here I am just drinking some water. I don't have a wine glass, glass because around here we're fancy AF. Um, and I wanted to hop on really quickly because I noticed um, yesterday I kind of, um, there's been a lot going on um, that just circumstantially that are kind of things that are out of my control. And, um, and I noticed yesterday, just kind of actually maybe even before yesterday, just a complete, um, loss of power, loss of energy, just kind of really feeling, um, I think we've all been here, you know, where we're just not quite feeling like ourselves. And, um, and I wanted to kind of talk through this and talk through how, um, how that happens to me, even, you know, that happens to all of a, a lot of us and what I do to actually get myself unstuck or um, and, and kind of gain my power back. So um, so just to give you a little um, background of what's going on, so I live in Santa Barbara. Over the last um, two months, we have evacuated because of fires. Um, now we, I'm, I basically have had to cancel a ton of meetings um, because I can't get to LA where um, where a lot of my clients are and, um, and a lot of, uh, I mean, just a lot of my work happens because um, the 101, as many of you guys have seen on the news, is just completely covered with mud. Um, and not only that, but there's just been um, and again, I know that I'm talking kind of this is all story and this is all things that you can use as like fuel to like um, say, you know, what your circumstances are. And we'll get to kind of the breaking free of that. Um, but um, but it but it is it is a weight. You know, there's been 20 people have died just literally two miles down my down the road from me. Um, and on top of that, there's just massive amounts of personal stress that have been happening that's been happening. So um and, uh, and, and I still have a business to run. So what do you do? You know, so here I am, even yesterday, I kind of, I was like, I just was like, ugh, feeling like, what have I done? And why am it just kind of, you know, that a pity party, I call it a pity party, um, where nothing is quite, uh, it's like, why is this happening to me? And what's, you know, I just, what are some of the things that I always say is, or, or you know, we always have our, you have your things that you say when you're in a pity party. For me, it's, um, you know, why is this happening to me? Why am I always the one that has to deal with this kind of stuff? Um, you know, what, um, you know, some of those things that we just always, always, always have. So basically, um, how to get unstuck and, and how to feel through kind of these things and then get your power back and feel like you're, uh, you're, you're back on top and you, you are back in a place where things aren't just happening to you, um, where circumstances aren't just happening to you, but you actually have a say in, um, who you're being in the moment. Um, so my first thing that I always say when you're, um, hi Simon, hi Brad. Oh, look, I'm just, I have been ignoring some of the comments. So sorry, but hello, um, welcome again. Just for anybody who's who's hopping on, we're talking about um, how to um, feel through some of the things, the circumstances. Let them not become um, become uh, just part of your story, and really being able to rise above it and get your power back. Um, so basically, completely stuck. So yesterday, again, feeling just like this is the worst. Like, why is all this stuff happening to me? I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, some of those things. And then, so, so I always say, like, first step, get all those emotions out. You know, so I just wrote a incredible long list of all of my reasons, all my, like, the reasons why I have all this, like, I, you know, should be able to, to feel all this and, you know, there's mudslides and I should be able to just, whatever it is, whatever your reasons are, just process through those things. Just literally, for me, it really helps to just write it all down, you know, write out, you know, we always have this kind of like victim mentality. So write down all of those things that you have that are that, that like the, the quote unquote reasons, you know, um, and, and for me, the, the, it was very much like the same things that I've always told myself. I'm always in these situations and I don't even, why am I always the one that has, has to deal with this and stuff like that. And then as soon as you kind of write it all down, for me at least, um, I just am, so number one is getting very, very, very clear about 
um, what you're feeling, you know, tell the truth. Um, so that's tell it like it is, uh, you know, your truth, your version, it doesn't, there's no judgment around it. You know, it's not like, for example, I could easily write, have written down, you know, I, I wrote down this long list and I could easily have said, um, you know, I shouldn't feel like that, but that's not really the point at this right now. The point is really just to get it all out and, um, and just, and that's your truth. Just own your truth, own what you're feeling. Um, and even the bad things, even the things where you're like, what is this? You know, like it, it doesn't matter. There's no, there's no right. There's no wrong. Just really own that feeling. Um, and then the second portion, the second port part portion, excuse me, of this that I really, really, really find helpful is, um, is to start asking questions. So for me, the question um, the question after I had owned my truth and owned the way that I was feeling and, and just was gave myself to, per, to feel all the things, the nasty, the good, the bad, everything, um, was then to start to ask questions. And the question, you know, this always kind of helps, the question that, um, that I asked, that I like to ask is, um, what would it look like for me to be supported in these feelings? Or what would it, or just period, what would it feel like for me to be supported? What does that mean for me to be supported? Um, and, you know, I, I think, so some of those feelings, you kind of look at those feelings and then and then look at those feelings and then ask the question so that it's, you're kind of opening it up to God, you know, the universe, what, you know, your higher source, your higher being, but what does it actually look like for you to be supported? And what does it actually look like for you to get what you need? And, um, and so those are the questions that I ask, like, okay, here I am, and, and it, some an, another question that I that I like to ask is um, is can is there something that I'm avoiding? Is there something you know? Just start to ask, feel into it, and ask some of those questions. Um, and for me, I you know was really I needed support, and I'm somebody that just kind of charges through and just does whatever I need to do, um, and and it ends up being like I can't always do that. And I needed help. I needed support. So, my question was, um, what does it look like for me to support, be supported? And I just asked God that. What does that look like? Um, and then the third step is after you kind of are asking those questions and just um, that kind of then shifts the energy from uh, from woe is me to okay, there might be a possible outcome that's better than what I'm dealing with right now. Um, or, you know, so it kind of shifts, you know, you'll, you'll feel a little sense of shift. Um, and then the third part, the third portion of this. So, so just to reiterate, the first is telling your truth. So tell it like it is the good, the bad, whatever, just tell it like it is. Um, the second part of this is ask questions. You know, the question that I like is, um, is what is it look, what would it look like for me to be supported? Um, what do I need right now? What does my body need right now? Um, and just asking God, you know, what, what, um, is there something that I'm missing? Is there something that I'm not seeing? So just really questions that are really uh, love uh, surrounded, you know, love based and really uh, caring for yourself. And then the third portion is getting into action. So for me, it, it's interesting because I think you'll see that God really um, wants to provide and wants to give you those, um, you know, if you're, if you're over here kind of in like, I don't have any power, I don't know what to do, I feel so stuck and lost. Um, and then the second portion is when you're asking questions and you're like, and you're kind of getting unstuck. That's the first portion of getting unstuck. And then the third part is, is I promise you that God wants to meet that and wants to kind of come and help and whatever that looks like. Um, and, but then there's an action portion portion. It's not just, okay, I, here I am. I asked for all these things and now it's time to just like, okay, like, um, is our thing is just going to fall from the sky? Sometimes that happens, but um, but then the third portion is really getting into action around that. Okay, how? What would it look like for me in my situation? It was what would it look like for me to be supported in this way? And I wrote it down. I literally wrote it down exactly. And for me, at the time, I needed an editor. I needed um, a post production supervisor. I needed some some support, some extra support around um, some of the businesses and some of the businesses that I have. I also needed a friend um, to talk to. So that's what I needed. I knew that I needed that. Um, and so then, when you have when you move into action. 
you actually um, are being a part of the solution. So you are actually empowered. So you have moved and moved through all of those kind of steps. And once you have power and you have action, you can kind of move the needle just a little bit. And even just a simple, simple um, action will then kind of reinvigorate you and know that you have your power and you have the power to change your circumstances and change your way of being in the circumstances. Because sometimes you actually can't change the circumstances but you can change the way that you're being in those circumstances. Um, so that is kind of it just to, I, I think I went over it a whole bunch or went over to get, you know, a few times, but, um, basically my goal and message in all of this is that you're not stuck. Um, and if you kind of move through those processes, move through that process of acknowledging what is so, um, asking some questions of what it looks like, what would it look like for this situation to change, what would it look like for me to be supported, and then to get into action um, will actually help to um, to get you unstuck. So um, anyway, I love all of you guys. Um, I just do. I think we're, we're wonderful humans and we're really, really um, here to make a difference and here to own our truth. So um, thanks for listening. I know it's just been a quick little thing that I wanted to hop into. Um, and if you have any questions um, at all, please, please, please feel free to ask or, or message me or anything. I'm here to be a support for you guys um, totally and uh, to help us all kind of get unstuck. So uh, happy... Uh, Happy day, happy um, Wednesday, and, um, and all the blessings in the world to each one of you guys.